Alright, what about you? This is not a picking video, so if you want to turn off, turn off now. <laughs> or sit and listen to me rambling about something I probably know nothing about. But anyway, it's about. I watched a, a brilliant video one night, Norseman, not bigger on tweezers. About the wee cut on the tweezers, about getting a, getting a wee uh, fire and fire in your own wee cut. Because I think these tweezers I paid about, I don't know, I don't know, 12, 15 pounds, I don't know how much I paid for them. But I paid three pounds for these. It's just a wee cover, I'll show you That's going to be a long video, so like I said, if you don't want to watch, don't watch. These wee tweezers here, let me see, I'll show you. Take notes, Bill. These wee tweezers are stainless steel, non-magnetic, plus Somebody has put their name on it for me, that's very important. Somebody has put their name to those tweezers. Them tweezers are over £2. Maybe £3. Right? And like I say, these were like £12 to £15. There's a difference in size, there everyone. There's a difference in size. These were like £12 to £15. Isn't that right? Pictures, isn't it? These were like £12 to £15. And there's no name on them, if you look. When I got them, they were too broad that way, so I had to grind them down, and they're still too broad for me. For like a master locks or American pins, you know that sort of. They're still too big. I would use these. But anyway, Norseman and Lockpicker have done a great video on them, and it gave me an idea to do a wee video that I'm doing now. So I'm not talking about these no more. He covered them. Check him out. Norseman and Lockpicker have done a great wee video on these. I'm here to talk about these. Plug followers. If anybody watched my video of a very kind package I got from uh, BJ Mully or Jared, thank you, Jared, he sent me these. Well, the wee American one or Master Lock one, it got broke. He had locks in the package and it got broke. They're hollow. If, if you look there, they're sort of they're thick. They're sort of thick. But in some cases, they hollow them out. If you can see, that one there has been hollowed out. Right? Well, on this one, I have it hollowed out again, like, but I don't know if you can see it or not. I have it hollowed out again, but it got broke. That end got broke off it, so. And the reason it's hollowed is sure, that's a core of a you know, 5300 there. It is sure when you're putting that on the lock, yeah. I could see you put that over, if you understand. You see, I don't know whether you see it or not. But when you're actually putting that over, and when I first, when I first started, uh, when I first started picking, I made these. These are pens. These are pens and stuff. These are just out of pens, felt tip pens. I was making them fit like that. You know what I mean? To push out. Well, that seemed seemingly wrong. So. They're actually supposed to fit well. I did learn I can made one that fitted over. That's part of a pen as well. But like I say, Jared had sent me these, and these are proper plug followers that fit over. And that's how you push them out. Right? Oh, I just, as we're, just now we're here. For, this is for Bill. I seen Bill struggling the other day with a, hit me, what was it? Was it an American? I think it was an American. The, Ameri the cheaper American cores. The cheaper American crores that don't have the clip on the back, they just have a wee crimp. Well, this is my way of getting around it, this is how I found it around it. Like I say, again, I, like I said, I didn't know when I was making them fit half and half rather than fitting over. Rather than fitting over. But what I done was, I flattened, this is part of a pen as well, I flattened the top. Can I see it? You can. I flattened the top of it, and that gets you in past the crimp. Just something, something else. Right, so that's in. Right, I have a fancy Prolac plug follower that I paid, I don't know, I don't know what I paid for that. I probably paid £15 or something for that. Very rarely use it. I've always been using this. This is just a wump of wood. <laughs> just a bit of dowel rod. That's all that is. Just a bit of dowel rod when coloured in my felt tip pen. Because I liked it because it was flat. It was flat at the end. Bump. Most locks are flat. You know what I mean? I want to get a flat edge. 
Well, not there. I was sort of, I was pushing that through. I was twisting. It was, the pins were jumping up in there and also. Sometimes you need a flat thing. Right. Right. So I was, I'm always on the lookout for bits and pieces for the for plug followers for anything. Pin. I'm still on the lookout for a uh, pin, a wee pin and tray. Just a wee, that's a wee ghetto pin and tray, but a cardboard. But I'm still on the lookout for some, I don't know, a bit of wood, a bit of metal, something. But I think maybe that's getting sorted from a decent fella. You know who you are. Uh, right, something else. An R plug follower. This is the same size as the Prolac. Exact same size as the Prolac. And I'll tell you what it is. My wee granddaughter. She was about, I don't know, my wee granddaughter's probably six now. But she was probably about three and she had a wee doll's pram. For pushing her wee doll about in the pram. Look at Brooke. That's part of the doll's pram. That's part of the doll's pram. That there. And it's a perfect size. It's an absolute perfect size. That's that pro lock follower. And it's great now because if you get an angle with the tail on it, you can push it down in there. Sweet. So I cap it. Right, so they're, they're all the same size. They're all the same size, they're for American locks, master locks. So this is, when, when I got these from Jared, when I got these from, or is the one there? Sorry. When I got these from Jared, I was looking at them, I'm thinking to myself, M2 is the same. M2 is the same, not hollowed out, and they're both the same, right? That's one that is hollowed out, and that's for the master and the Americans. And that's a bigger one, which I haven't got nothing that size yet, but I will. And it's hollowed out, so I'm looking for something that size at the minute. So, like I say, I had these two wee rubber things. I'm taking off here. We're on a drill. I bought a drill bit. It was in a wee plastic case and they were on the end of it. Perfect size again for the plug follower. So, same again. This is an R wee bit. Of the child's pram, it's been also I saw the down so anything. It's part nor part of the child's pram. Hollow, do for plug follower. Got them wee chunks out of it there, just in case you get something like that. And when was it? A couple of days ago, my wife went out and bought a curtain pole. Wee baby curtain pole. I'll show you the curtain. I'll show you the curtain pole went together like. So, an extendable curtain pole went together like that. Obviously, it would be a bit bigger for, <laughs> for a bigger window, but it was an extendable curtain pole. And I had to cut a bit off it. I cut a couple of bits off it, to be honest with you. But this size here turned, was perfect, turned out to be the absolute perfect size for American and Master Lock. So, again, cut the wee groove on it and it fits absolutely perfect. It fits, as you can see here, it fits absolutely perfect for American and Master Lock. So, an absolutely free plug follower. Great stuff. And, put in there. Two wee caps on. Two wee caps that I got for free off a drill bit. Job done. Perfect. What else? Right, oh, right. And these are, these are our plug files. I bought these. When I first started picking, I bought these off an unnamed shop, let's say. I bought a four piece set. Just cheap or cheap plastic. That's well, I suppose they're dead on for plug followers, but I think they were about five, I don't know, six pound or something. But I bought a four piece set when I first started picking. Here's me, right? That'll do me nicely. We're cheap. Right. They're actually, these white ones at George Center are far better quality than these things like. But I bought a four piece set and I thought it was, it was a bit of a con like. You got two of each. You got two of each. You know what I mean? What's that about like? I thought I was getting one that would do. And I'd actually bought them for Master Locks. Because that's what I was picking at the time. I actually bought them for Master Locks and that one unfitted a Master Lock. So they didn't get used. So they get used. And that's about it. That's as much as I wanted to show. 
Uh, oh, why? Uh, she leaves this here. So, I've been thinking her. I was thinking. Let's see, take these apart again here. I was thinking, like I said, there, the curtain pull. That's the curtain pull. It doesn't make like that. Bit bigger, okay. I've saw that this one, this one's not sewn up, it's just color the curtain pull. So, I was thinking, all the pins are going to fall down in there. So, what I'm going to do, I fill the inside bit. And I'm going to stick it inside that tube. Down in there, about a quarter of an inch or a half inch in. Sure, the pins don't fall down in there. Too far down. Like. No, it's not got too far down, but sure, the pins don't fall in there. Be like that, you know. Right, that's my that's my tuppence worth. Hope he's enjoyed the video lots, and if he's didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> See you later. Bye. -bye.